my name is Dr Lizzie Burns. I am going to be showing you how to fold your very own origami antibody. So your body makes these Y-shaped proteins look like this um, and they do that to go and help your body spot any intruders, things like viruses or bacteria and they go and stick to them and let your body know to attack and destroy. So imagine this is a virus, they go and stick or maybe on a spike and let your body know to get rid of it and that's how you start to get better. And we grow more antibodies from when we're unwell but also vaccines help boost our number of antibodies which help protect us. So let's make one of these heroic amazing antibodies. It could be out of any paper at all. You can use scrap paper and I am going to show you the steps. Hopefully you may have a sheet like this and I am going to bring to life that little diagram. It's always quite hard isn't it with diagrams? I find diagrams hard. So I hope this film will help support you. So if you grab something to press on I am going to show you how to fold from a four piece of paper. So we'll first of all make a square and then I will show you these different steps to make your very own antibody. So first of all, I've got a four sheet of paper. I'm going to turn it first of all into a five paper. So I'm simply going to fold it in half to make a five like so. And with origami and science really, bit of accuracy. I've tried to line up those corners. I'm giving a good strong fold. Actually it's the folds that give it strength and help everything work too. It can also be quite relaxing too. So I've made a good strong fold. Next I'm going to make a little tiny nick, put my hand nice and close to the edge there and you should be able to tear off that. You could use scissors but actually tearing is quite accurate so you don't need scissors. Next, I'm going to take the corner and I'm going to line it up with that bottom line. So there we go, lining up nicely through the point. That's it. So underneath here is the square, but we need to remove this rectangle. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to bring this back, line it all up. Again, nice and accurately, good strong fold. That worked well that way. And next again, I'm going to do a little tiny nick and get rid of that rectangle. Right, so now we have a square, which is the basis for doing some origami. So our first step is to do a horizontal line. So I'm going to fold it in half to make a rectangle. There we go. And in a strange way, actually the things inside your body, proteins, are a bit like origami. They start off kind of flat and it's the way that they fold up that makes the shape and therefore what they do. And take the outside and bring it to the middle. And this is all a bit engineering and in a way everything. Your body is a little bit like that too. I hope this is a good challenge. So from the outside again to the middle. And you'll probably find this easier than the diagrams. I find videos much easier. So I'm now going to turn it to the side and I'm going to just fold it in half in the middle. So top to bottom. That's it. And take your time. When you take your time, it'll be more relaxing too. And just know you will get there. I'm going to bring the outside to the middle line. There are so many things you can make with origami. It outside to the middle and it is a good piece of art and science together. There we go. So it looks like a kind of folded up square. I'm going to now bring it round sideways. I'm going to open up one side this flap and what I'm going to be doing in a moment is doing a diagonal line on both corners. To do that I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to line it up with that vertical one. So I'm bringing it up there and I'm going to squash it down the diagonal line and I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. This is all easier if you maybe press on a table or book whatever it is that you're pressing on. So it's looking like this and next I'm going to fold it down and so get rid of any wrinkles they will always upset things so get rid of that nicely through the point. That's it. I'm going to do the same on the other end. So it should be looking a little bit like a, a house. I'm going to do the same now on the other side. So opening up 
the flap and we're going to take the outside and fold it down that's right there we go and the same on the other side there we go and then just take your time and you will get there and then pushing it down right the way through those tips that's it same on the other side Again, on a solid surface you can probably get that a little bit more accurate as well great so it should look like this kind of shape now we're going to turn it into a sort of windmill shape so if you take one side and fold it down so it sticks out like so and the same with the opposite corner so i'm going to take this corner and fold it up so now it looks like a windmill now your next step is rather interesting we're going to flip it back along this diagonal line so all i'm going to do is just take this side and flip it can you see it completely changes the shape so it's it's like the windmill and i just flipped it back and it became this shape looks a bit like a vase or maybe a hungry fish or a pac-man there we go so we're going to round it off so it does look a bit more like an antibody so to do that these tips are going to fold down here so i'm going to take that tip and fold it down there like so and the same on the other side take that tip and fold it down and then at the bottom there we go and the same thing there right these flaps look a little bit messy don't they so we can get rid of them so if you take one side this is all a pocket i'm opening it up and i'm just going to push that inside so i'm not adding any extra lines but i'm just tucking it away pushing it inside and i'm going to do the same thing on the other other side so opening it up pushing it in tucking it away closing it up and i'm going to do the same at the bottom too there we go opening it up pushing it in and i'll have one more flat there yep there we go opening it up You'll actually find that this shape can make many different things. You can flip it into all sorts of positions. It's a very strange, weird, wonderful thing. And actually, antibodies are a little bit flexible too. So, I hope that's worked for you. Um, I made my very own origami antibody. And it would go and spot a virus. And in the next video, you'll learn how to make viruses. Virus-like origami. And um, this all these lovely little spikes i suppose not so lovely but this is what the antibody would spot so the next the next opportunity to make the virus like pieces will be to encourage your antibody to grow and to get rid of them so i hope you're going to enjoy that as well thank you bye bye